Hey, it's Nicky Lance back. Now, I had a request from Mikey B from the US on how to make your own puppy because you couldn't understand how you could do that. So I'm going to give you a quick look around and then we're going to do it. Make your own little distribution. Basically, you're just remastering the CD, putting on the programs you like, like Sky, maybe GIMP. You can put Open Office. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff you can put on it, but bearing in mind, the more you put on it, the bigger the ISO is going to be. So I'm just going through some of the programs that are as standard as you can see. It's just standard really, isn't it? And so you really want to put some other stuff on, don't you really? To make it your CD or your distribution of Puppy Linux. So what you do, basically, is we're going to go up to install. And we're going to go down to the Puppy Package Manager. Now when we open this up, you'll see here that I've actually put some in already. So imagination is like a DVD slideshow maker. Obviously, the more your stuff you want on, the more you put on. That is entirely up to you. Bear in mind you get quite a few stuff off the web as well at the same time. Now, I've downloaded Skype from uh, publinux.ca, which is an ordinary pet file. And basically, all we do, all we click on it. Here we go. Starts installing, installs, and we are done. So we're going to say, for argument's sake, oh by the way, I've only got 438 megabytes of RAM free here really. We're safe for argument's sake <coughs> that um, that's all we want to do. I'll just make sure the Skype's installed for We'll say that's all we want to do, that's going to be your puppy. Obviously you want a lot more stuff, put it on, it's entirely up to you. So it's, Skype's on there, no problem. Look. We'll come out there and we'll go down and do the nitty gritties, shall we? Don't forget, you can put your own wallpapers on, your own icons, you can actually do whatever you like with it. Own themes, oh, the list goes on and on and on, really. There's nothing you actually can't do. And if you want to start getting into this sort of thing, this is an easy way to get into it, really, on a slow learning curve. So what we do, we go to Remaster the Puppy Live CD. There we are. And have a read of this, before, every section that you go, just in case you don't want to do it in the end. But I do, so I'm going to click OK. It's now calculating how much space it's going to need to make it. Now, as you can see, I've got that much. I've got 1320. The ISO I've made is going to be 153, but it also wants you to have an extra 100 to 200 space if you're going to burn the ISO. So if you say it's going to be a 350 in the end, may not, may not be. That's up to you. See so how we go. I'm doing it in VBox at the moment. Makes it easier to do the video anyway. So that's okay. So I could burn it to the box there. You put back in your Puppy Live CD that you booted from, and there we go. Wait a bit, wait a bit. Now it's doing all the stuff in the background. Now this takes quite a long time, even on a newer machine, could take up to 10 minutes if you've got a lot of stuff on there. So I've cut the video just a little bit to save on time a little. But yeah, this went on on this machine around about 4 minutes until it decided it had enough and done all it had to do. So yeah, it's done. It's created a temporary folder in the root that's got all my stuff on it. You can have a little look at it if you want to, or you can carry on. So what we're going to do, we're going to click OK. Eventually, yeah, we're going to click OK, and we'll go to the next section of what you really have to do. Right, we've created a directory. Now, do you want to customise it? You can carry on customising if you want. It's entirely up to you. But if you answer the here, yes, the live CD will be pre-configured for your only PC. If you click no, you can put it in anybody's PC and it won't come out of all different stuff. Our hardware customization wasn't chosen. So blah, blah, blah. You can just basically go on from here because you can do that as you go. Once you first boot into Puppy on the new CD, you can do it to start with. Right, it's almost ready. You can actually edit the ISO if you want to. It's entirely up to you. I know it seems a long, long, drawn-out process, but actually it's quite a fun way of doing stuff if you want to do stuff like this. So you read down and you read down. Make sure you read everything, just in case you don't want to continue in the end. So you can't blame me, basically. So I'm going to click No there. It's almost ready to burn to the CD. Let me go read along. If you want to the extra FSS files, etc or any different other stuff now's the time to do it but we're going to do it anyway so we're going to click OK right nearly ready to go right it's entirely up to you what you do here so basically if you just want to do just an ISO you click on no then they don't so there we go 
What are we going to do? What do you reckon? What should we do? Should we do that? Yeah. Go, on, go, 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 go. You just click on the option that you really want to do. Yes is the one really what we want to do. It has a bit more stuff for us. Creating our ISO. And basically, we're done. Simple as that. All you do then is go into your file system. The ISO's there. Burn it. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.